Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another video on the Sid and Hoa YouTube channel today I'm going to be teaching you how to travel luxury for less and the three different things that you can do to be able to get onto that next business class flight that next bougie hotel and all for a much cheaper price so this is what this video is going to be about inshallah first of all I've already said this plenty of times but we are using credit cards as Muslims not to get into interest not to get into riba but to use the points and systems that they have for you to be able to travel luxury for less what is the number one thing that can help you travel luxury for less? First of all, we have got welcome bonuses. These are one of the best ways to be able to travel at hotels just like this, the St. Regis, Mursa Arabia. This is a really, really useful technique. Welcome bonuses, how do they work? Usually, I'm going to pick Amex for an example because the UK, the only good card is the Amex. There is the HSBC and the Lloyds cards and I'll talk about these in a separate video. I have created a guide which I'll link in the description below. It's only $4.99 and it's got all the cards in detail that the UK has to offer. Anyway, let's say you're getting an Amex preferred rewards credit card. Usually the joiner bonus for this is around 20,000 points. One thing to do when looking at welcome bonuses is get a referral. So I'm going to leave the guide in the comments the free one which has all our referral offers in there so this could mean a difference of maybe a thousand two thousand or even ten thousand points sometimes the referral offer can be a game changer for most people and most cards so please pay attention and please always check these welcome bonuses with a referral offer an example as we were talking about the preferred rewards credit card is around twenty thousand points and i think with a referral is around twenty two thousand points now twenty two thousand points is a lot of points and I think people don't understand points and they kind of, in the Muslim community anyway, in the Asian community, there's already a massive stigma for credit cards. And unfortunately, I do kind of agree with it as well because Islamic finance just hasn't caught up yet. And credit cards is just the way the world works. But as Muslims, we can use them in a Sharia compliant way to be able to leverage and finance your holidays. So how do you do that? Well, let's say you join Amex Preferred Rewards Credit Card with a referral offer for a 22,000 welcome bonus. Now, usually you won't just get this welcome bonus straight away. You will have to spend a certain amount in order to get that welcome bonus. Now, usually these amounts are not that insanely high, especially if you're family, this is very much doable. Most of these are usually spent 2,000 or 3,000 pounds in three months. Some like the platinum is spent in six months and there's all these different, different things or spend in three months, but you've got to spend a bit more. Now, £3,000 in three months is pretty doable for most families. The point is you get these cards around the time when you're planning to do a big spend. Let's say now you have to look at what is accepted as well because Amex isn't accepted everywhere. But if you're about to buy a car and you know that their showroom accepts Amex, then it's a good time for you to get a credit card because you can hit that bonus pretty much straight away. Let's say you're about to do a furniture sh shop and you're about to buy a Hoover and a sofa and all these different things and they accept Amex. Well, this is a good time for you to go get that card and then go make those purchases. Then it makes it so easy to be able to meet that bonus. It's about playing the game. There is a game there and if you play it well, you can travel to places just like this using points instead of having to use physical money or using your cash that's in your bank. So welcome bonuses is a really good way. 23,000 points, what can that get you? I'm in Doha right now, as people know, I live here, Alhamdulillah. So I'm just going to give an example. You might not think this is a lot, but for me, I think if I could save this money, then why not? Let's say I wanted to fly to Dubai over the weekend and I wanted to do Qatar Airways, Doha to Dubai. Now this is a pretty much fixed rate which would cost you 7,000 AVIOS. So on Qatar Airways, Doha to Dubai, a single ticket would cost you 7,000 AVIOS. If I have 22,000 points in Amex, I can transfer them to British Airways or Qatar Airways and I get a point per point. So one Amex point is the same as one AVIOS on Qatar Airways. So 7,000 AVIOS has been used for that one flight. Now, is this a good deal? Probably not. I probably wouldn't use 7,000 AVIOS to fly from Doha to Dubai. This is not where the good deals are. And I'm going to talk about these good deals in another video. But this is why you need to follow and subscribe on Sid and Hoa so you can learn more about this. What is the second method in order to be able to earn all these AVIOSs and points? Using apps. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, there's the AVIOS app and this one is just ridiculous. Because if you've used Booking.com or MyProtein or pretty much any retailer on that app and I'm telling you there are hundreds and thousands that you have probably used they all offer Avios for example right now on 
booking.com for one pound you spend you get six avios so if you were to go on booking.com using the avios app or the avios chrome extension you can earn yourself let's say you spend a thousand pounds six thousand avios just by doing your booking you are already going to book it anyway so all that's happening is you are earning six thousand avios on that booking so why would you not be using it i just don't understand i've had people take the mic saying you're teaching people about top cash back and about avios and all these things i'm like why why is there anything to complain about you could be earning free money all you have to do is spend an extra two minutes three minutes setting up an account and you could be earning all this avios i really don't see why people muslims don't do this you could be saving so much money and booking.com is just one example my protein is like one pound and 12 avios if you do a my protein stock up every month or two months and you spend 50 pound 100 pound you could be getting 12 times the avios a pound you spend now i know it's little little things but over time these do add up top cashback is a really really good useful tool as well you don't get any avios but at least you get cashback on the places that you're going to spend money anyway and i think that's the point i'm trying to make is you're going to spend money anyway in that place you might as well earn the avios you might as well earn the cashback this is my second method of earning avios to be able to afford hotels like this at a much cheaper rate or for free in some cases the third method was how to use hotel chains and airlines to be able to earn more points now this is a really really pet, big pet peeve of mine and i'm not saying booking.com is rubbish but i have a really big pet peeve when people use booking.com to book hotels like the saint regis like intercontinental like hilton all these different hotels should not be booked via booking.com these hotels have their own chains have their own systems in place for you to be a more loyal customer for example the saint regis is part of the marriott bonvoy hotels alhamdulillah we have managed to stay at quite a number of marriott hotels and because we stay directly via the hotel and we book directly via the hotel we managed to get discounts on our stays we managed to get upgrades and all these different offers because we booked directly with the hotel and I'm gonna just tell you all the different chains that are available just off the top of my head. We've got the Marriott Bonvoy, the Hilton Honours, the Wyndham Rewards, the Glo World of Hayat. You've got uh, the GHA Discovery. Then you've, for airlines, you've got Qatar Airways, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, but you've got all these different airlines as well. Then you've got all these different things in between, like the Avios app I mentioned, to be able to earn points. But why should you be booking directly via the hotels and directly via the websites instead of using trip.com to book your Qatar Airways flight? First of all, the mat, the price will always be guaranteed. If you go on St. Regis on booking.com and if you go on St. Regis directly, it will be the exact same price. If it isn't, you can ring Marriott Bonvoy and say, look, I found St. Regis on booking.com is cheaper somehow on booking.com than it is booking directly via the hotel. 100% of the time, they will guarantee a price match and they will make sure that you pay no more extra for staying directly with them. What's the benefit of staying directly with them? Well, first of all, you'll earn points, you'll earn nights on your account and you'll earn all these things which eventually when you get to a certain status like silver or gold, will say you're going to get free breakfast anywhere you stay. You're going to get 30% or 50% points bonus on your stay you build up these points over time and then you can use those points to stay as well i think this current room that we are currently in is around 30,000 points per night which is actually a very very good deal so maria hilton all these different hotel chains and airlines use the hotels and airlines directly because you will save more money by going to them directly in the long term booking.com is not bad but there are specific scenarios you need to use them for example we did a summer trip to the uk and we went to casablanca on the way there and on the way back on the way there we explored we checked it out there wasn't much to do by the way but on the way back i had my toe injured we were tired, we had just said goodbye to family, which was really tough. And we just wanted to sit in our apartment and do absolutely nothing. And for that reason, on the way back, I used booking.com because we stayed right next to the airport. We had an apartment, which was brilliant, by the way. So I'm gonna link it in the comments because this apartment was logged into Netflix, Disney, Amazon, everything was logged in. We had a kitchen, we had a really nice bedroom and everything. And we only paid hundred pounds for two nights. So this is the exact niche scenario that you need to use booking.com. I wasn't gonna go stay at Marriott because that was all the way in the city. I just wanted to stay somewhere near the airport where I could quickly get in a cab, taxi and go straight back to the airport on the day of our departure. And these were three methods I've just talked about how to travel luxury for less, how to be able to use points to get upgrades, to get extra welcome bonuses, extra features and stay at places just like this 
for sometimes completely free. If you've stayed with the company long enough, you might even get a free stay. And that is what we're going to be talking about on Sid and Hoa. Follow Sid and Hoa, support our channel, support our Instagram, support our community, so we can bring more in videos just like this and more shorts and reels for our followers to teach you as a Muslim how to use these credit card systems to be able to travel luxury for less.